I don't know how I did it all when I look at it. 1983 was quite a year because I got married. We got into government. I had a baby and we had a budget. So I'm the first woman in the House of Reps to have a baby. So what I did was almost pretend it wasn't happening. Jessica Joan Morgan came into the world at the Woden Valley Hospital at four minutes past six last night and immediately entered the record books. It's the first time a sitting member of federal parliament has given birth. I think in the long run, politicians should keep their feet on the ground and there's nothing that can keep your feet on the ground more than a baby. What surprised me, some of the more conservative started to debate on whether I should go back to parliament or not. There were no conditions at all for women, like nothing. I had no um, maternity leave, no childcare at Parliament House. Her decision to resume work so soon has drawn criticism, and no doubt she'll not be surprised to hear that it comes from a man. He's the Liberal member for Franklin in Tasmania, Mr Bruce Goodluck. We have to make certain that the people of Australia don't think it's the norm. She would have been thought far more of by setting the example, by not rushing back into work, but by staying with that beautiful little baby for these few months that are so important. There's too much, too much. And can you imagine the criticism I would have got had I taken a few months off? So I called on my magic mother and she came down to help. I would just have a Commonwealth card and I'd go home in between votes, feed the baby, and then I'd come back. So I could, that's what I used to call it, my milk run. My first trip to Canberra, after having my son, he was three months old, and one newspaper did a beautiful picture of me in my room with my 12-week-old baby. And the visceral reaction to that threw me. You know, the letters. One columnist who wrote a brutal article, if she really cared about her child, she would have quit Parliament. And then another one, same day. Why is she back after three months? Doesn't she care about this, you know, critical time in the child's development? You can't win. If I'd quit Parliament, I'd be sending a message that women couldn't do it. If I went to Parliament, I was, you know, neglecting my child. Political women sometimes had to think outside the box when it came to childcare solutions. The prize for inventiveness in this field goes to Susan Ryan herself. Susan was a single mother at that time with two little ones. Jermaine Greer said, you know, what can I do to give you a hand? And Susan said, could you mind the kids, you know? And uh, Susan uh, came home. What did she walk into? But Jermaine Greer having an enormous argument with uh, Justine about cooking a cake. I don't think Susan ever did too much of that in the kitchen. There was no childcare centre in Parliament House while you were there. What was that area being used for? For a period, it was the parliamentary bar. So I'm sure there are people that are still arguing the benefits. Um, but yes, it seems quite ridiculous that a building that was built in 1988 it had a bar, but there was no sense that childcare would be a part of it. One of the first delegations I went on to look at privacy law, I got a message from the Black Rod's office asking if I could provide a copy of my breastfeeding schedule. It was just like, oh my God, it doesn't happen like that. Controversy has erupted in Canberra after a senator was told to remove her two-year-old child from the chamber this afternoon. That was a baptism of fire. The day Cora was expelled from the, the Senate. I had been in Parliament for maybe six months. She was little, so she travelled with me. You've got four minutes when the bells ring uh, in the chamber for a vote. And I was standing very close to the Senate doors and I thought, I calculated that there's no way I can run upstairs with her, dump her in the office, uh, run back down and make the vote. So I just took her in. He interrupted the vote and declared there was a stranger in the house. Senator Hanson Young, we can't allow children to be in here for a division. The security guard had been directed to come over and take her and then all hell broke loose. Cora started crying. You could hear her crying from the other side. Bob stood up to protest the decision that had been made. I ask you to come back to this chamber with your justification for this ruling that I object to. 
and object to in the strongest terms. It became a huge public storm. Lock the doors, lock the doors. This is why women shouldn't be in politics. You know, you've got to choose. Do you want to be a mum or do you want to be a politician? Things have changed so much now. We have childcare in Parliament House and women are breastfeeding in the chamber. That would have been absolutely unheard of. Community standards have changed dramatically. After leaving Parliament when I first saw the childcare centre, I burst into tears. It would have changed my life. Hello, I'm Annabelle Crabb. I hope you liked that video, and assuming you did, you can find more misrepresented content right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe.